Well, it was a tough loss last night for the Dodgers, blowing a 2-1 to -one lead. Our offense just didn't step up as we normally would. I mean, normally we would have Betts and Seager and Turner at the top of our lineup. I mean, they set the tables for the for the sluggers like Bellinger and Taylor or Muncie, you know. And, uh, and Will Smith. But hopefully sooner or later, Corey Seager's gonna be back. We really need him. We miss him. He's been the heart and soul for our team. And I don't know why fans are booing Kenley Jansen. I mean, it's okay to boo the Giants when they score, when they make defensive plays, you know. But even the Giants are without some of their core players, and they've been playing very well. I mean, you had a starting infield of Crawford and Belt and Listella and Longoria that was supposed to be the starting infield for the Giants. And they still find ways to win without him. We're not. And uh, the Angels, are, of course, are without Rendon and uh, Trout and Upton. I mean, Shohei Otani can't really do it all by himself. And the Angels don't really have any pitching. The Dodgers are shorthanded on pitching. Uh, that's how it is sometimes. And uh, that, that's how life is in baseball. The Angels are back at it tonight as they play the Minnesota Twins in Minnesota. And Minnesota's not really that good of a team. So the Angels really have to start winning as well. They're two games under 500, and they're like seven games back of the second wild card spot. And uh, the Dodgers are only two games out behind the Giants, but the Dodgers are leading the NL wild card. And the Padres are in the second wild card. And we all thought the Padres were going to be good too, but they've been struggling. I mean, they think that Fernando Tatis is like the face of the franchise, but he's not. It's Tony Gwynn was the real deal. He was the heart and soul of the Padres growing up. And uh, he, he had that sweet swing, and he was a really good contact hitter. That's why he had a 338 lifetime average. That's why he had over 3,100 career hits and over 500 doubles. And yes, he had like almost 100 triples and more than 100 homers. So, And he was very hard to strike out, like I told you. I mean, he had success against those Cy Young Award pitchers he's faced throughout his career. Ichiro was a great contact hitter as well in the States and in Japan. And, uh, well, at least Walker Buehler is pitching tonight. And that's what happens, you know, when the Dodgers play the Giants. But it's their last game of the season at Dodger Stadium, at least in the regular season. Because then we go up there next week to, up for three games. So, yes, every game is critical now. And uh, it was 90 degrees yesterday, and it's going to be in the upper 80s today. So it's still going to be hot and humid. Oh, yeah, a happy birthday to the late Alex Trebek and a happy birthday to Keith Sweat and to Danny Glover. Um, so, yes, it's a must win for sure tonight. But, yes, the Giants, unfortunately, are still going to be in first place, but only, but, but, but only by one game or three games. But, yes, missing Corey Seager was a huge blow. Yeah, Justin Turner, of course, being hit by that pitch, had a leg contusion. And uh, Mookie Betts is, 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 is still out dealing with an irritated hip. So yes, hopefully this year, we will have Betts, Seager, and Turner at the top of the order so we can get them on base for Max Muncy and Will Smith and Cody Bellinger. That's the only way the Dodgers are really gonna catch fire is if Mookie Betts will get a leadoff double, Corey Seager will triple him home, and Justin Turner will hit it out. That, that's, how, that's how you set the tables for your sluggers. Meanwhile, 
I hope you have a good rest of your day. And let's go Dodgers. It's a must win. And let's go Angels as well. And the Padres are in Miami. Amen.